Okay, guys, this is going to be a bouncy video. Look at this pond that I'm swimming in. There's Stephanie and John. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Came out here to do the water thing that I tell you guys to do. All right. Um, listen, I want to talk a little bit today about how I told you that I, I don't want to talk about y'all's past anymore and why because it's it's really irrelevant. Uh, now that you know that you're creator gods and how that works with quantum mechanics and your intent and your belief systems, now we're going to talk a little bit about what you're going to create from here on out. Now, um, I know you all have got the basic uh, 5D, you want to clean earth and peace on earth and no fear and safety, unconditional love and all that stuff, but how about we try to do some intending on some more specific things that are more specific to you. Uh, one of my things is I want to fly. Absolutely, it's one of my big things. Uh, I want to swim underwater um, without having to have any kind of apparatus. I can breathe underwater easily. Um, I want to be able to run and jump really high. Um, I can't wait to communicate more freely and openly with all beings um, that are on the planet and talk to them about their experiences. So those are just a few of my um, things that I'm looking forward to. And I do a lot of time, I spend a lot of time in, in um, changing my beliefs for 5D for the future. Uh, I visualize uh, someone that, who may be out in front of me who's, who is in a bad mood. I see them having being happy. Um, I like uh, music festival like atmosphere so I um, visualize that a lot. That's where I'm going with the timelines with 5D. Um, floating get-togethers or city like things in the clouds. Um, I visualize those. So watch, let's get a little bit more specific about what things sound like, taste like, look like, uh, what you're going to manifest and why, um, how to think about manifesting what you want uh, day to day. Like in the morning you get up, well, what do you want to do? I want to be able to move around this planet like really fast. I want to be able to go where I want to go and just uh, materialize there. And this stuff is not that far away at this point on these timelines. Uh, there are young people uh, around the planet, as we speak, that are creating fireballs, uh, are creating ice balls, are controlling the wind uh, with little mini tornado-like things. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of play being done with clouds. Um, <clears throat> as you know, I think water is stupendously awesome. So there's a lot of, of play with water. Uh, I would say water's probably the easiest elemental to work with because it's everywhere. And I, I think it's just very, very powerful. So um, I play a lot with water. Um, I want to spend a lot of time with the whales and the dolphins. Um, I have a great affinity towards those and big birds. birds. Um, but a lot of, of uh, the creatures that are here on this planet I would like to communicate more effectively with and interact with them more effectively. So I visualize a lot of, of um, you know, getting closer, sitting still and letting the wildlife come up to me and uh, try to communicate with them more effectively uh, than I have every day. I, I try to get a little bit better at that. And... Uh, so let's get specific about what 5D you want it you want to go to, and what you want to do whenever you get there. Um, yeah, and uh, remember that keep your eye out and uh, don't whatever you're interested in. If you're a, a plant person, an animal person, a water person, a snow person, uh, uh, a lot of the planet will be green and blue. And a lot of the weather will be very much the same all the way around it. Um, it will be, you can call snow at any time, of course. Uh, you can create an ice rink if you would like to skim across the ice. Uh, but 
now is the time for you to start being really specific about what you want to do and experience. The beings that you would like to meet, of course, will be very happy to interact uh, more with all the magical creatures that have been here for so long. They have so much to share and so much to say, and they're so much fun. Are so much fun. Um, I'm a big person. I like parties, and I don't mean like drugs and alcohol parties. I mean getting together and singing and and dancing around a bonfire and and sharing good food that people uh, cared about a great deal when they prepared it. Um, I like that kind of activity. I like going with friends to see um, magnificent natural features. So I will be doing a lot of that. I've done a lot of uh, looking at the on the planet, and there's all kinds of this cool stuff, and just places right now that are pretty pristine. That I am. <laughs> this is Dreamer barking at something in the water. We don't know what it is. There's no fish, or there's a turtle there. Okay, there's a turtle here. I don't see the turtle. I don't see the turtle, but did you see the turtle? I just turned it around for you. So he's barking at the turtle. So here, let's let's spend some time being very, very, very specific, encouraging you not to worry so much about your past. Um, you created that all subconsciously, and usually there's a lot of belief systems that were put in place that you really didn't know were being put in place, but now you know all that. So let's change those belief systems. Let's start um, visualizing a a peaceful, clean planet, but how about specifics? I mean, what animals would you like to talk to? Um, what Would you like to talk to the fish, mermaids? Would you like to speak to them? Uh, start visualizing talking to these animals and, and uh, the wind. The wind is really interesting to talk to. Water is phenomenal, of course, I've said that already. But start being very, very specific. So, I don't think or worry so much about the past and what happened that was then and it got you to where you are now and I love each and every one of you I think you're perfect and your story is unique to you and believe me all the beings that I'm talking about will be very interesting interested in your perspective of your life and uh, what your experience was like so try to kind of put together a picture of your life and not get all emotionally drawn into the the bad stuff, but be able to relate it in an in exciting way. Maybe you could write it down in a journal. Maybe you could do video blogs, um, just to to kind of uh, put together a movie, kind of of what you're looking forward to in 5D. Uh, anything is possible there. It is like I've said before. There's not. Uh, there's not really tech there because it's really, it's really not needed. Certainly you could produce it, and if you have a bunch of you, you're more than welcome to play with it. But it's really not needed because you know that you can do it all yourself. So as a looking forward to your time in 5D as a creator, God, uh, what are you going to create? Uh, now that you've got complete control and you're heading towards controlling all of these belief systems and... Um, getting rid of the ones that you don't care for and the ones that you don't want uh, what are you going to replace them with what belief systems are you going to have and uh, how are you going to play with those um, what do you think that's how 5d is so let's start looking at that uh, I'll probably talk a little bit about 4d because there are some for, for some people who want to stay in 4d and it's a very very exciting place as well uh, there's a lot of wonderful people there, a lot of wonderful entities there, uh, some beings that you wouldn't consider very wonderful, but their experience is uh, phenomenally awesome too. Uh, I want to remind you that outside of your skin suit, as you're looking in at all of this stuff, it is just um, waves of frequency and vibration, and they are very, very beautiful, no matter how you look at it. But um, I'm planning on going to 5D in this skin suit and experiencing Gaia um, at her finest, cleanest, loveliest, um, 
can't wait to interact with her a great deal more when things have kind of um, smoothed out. Uh, I can't wait to get all of the energies flowing on this planet beautifully the way um, originally they were and how they're going to go back to. So how about that guys? Let's play with that a little bit in your mind. Um, replace all of those times whenever you immediately jerk back to the past and um, get worried about this person in front of you because of a past event. Instead let's start picturing that person in front of you how they would be in 5D. Imagine what they would be doing in 5D. Maybe without even um, you don't need to talk about 5D and all this weirdness, but you could question them about what's their favorite uh, thing to do in in life. Um, do they have a, a favorite recreational activity that they like to do? And then you can kind of plug that into this new 5D planet because if you want to see them there, they will. there will be an aspect of them there. So you might meet somebody that... Uh, has the same interest in you and you can kind of visualize it. You kind of get together and, and go do that together. So let's start looking at people like they will be in 5D and start all of you sci-fi fantasy people just start visualizing really meeting all of those entities and beings and such and so forth that you've been reading about or watching movies about all this time. Um, yeah, why don't you tie that Let's look at it that way. All right. Let's kind of not look at the past, not worry about 4D. Let's start uh, really visualizing what 5D is going to look like and how we're going to share that together. Okay. All right. So this is the church church camp that's right next to Stephanie's little farm, and they let us come to this beautiful little lake. Very small lake it has actually has a a fountain that they turn on at night when there are people here. There are very seldom people here so it's very very quiet and walk out through the forest. Um, this would be a really great place to do a live um, some kind of get together because as you can see uh, let me turn this around can I turn this around there's like buildings up there and trees and it goes way way back and there's a climbing wall and an obstacle course and a little tiny it's not very big but it is a zip line there's a, a hookups for RVs and there's rooms they have bunk beds and stuff a bunch of people could stay in there's a big auditorium and a kitchen and um, outdoor place that all of our singers and people who play instruments could sing and uh, hook up amps or whatever and uh, yeah it's just beautiful out here it's just beautiful very very calming as you can tell so I came out here and I just couldn't help but but think about all of the things in 5d that I am so excited to see uh, makes it very easy to not worry about the past or the present uh, whenever I'm out here like this so that's why I encourage you guys to go out into nature because it's so easy to uh, visualize these visualize this new planet and this new way of interacting with each other all the plants and all the animals and all the other beings uh, that are here if you're if you really are into different kinds of aliens there's a whole bunch um, that are very excited to meet you so uh, just visualize that interaction on who you want to meet uh, there's millions and millions of different kinds of aliens that will be able you will be able to access even in the lower levels of 5d if you would like uh, but remember there's no fear in 5d so you can't be afraid of them um, yeah it'll be exciting guys it'll be a lot of fun it is definitely worth doing everything that we're doing and talking about all of this stuff to get there because it is so very very wonderful it is absolutely phenomenally wonderful okay well that's it for me uh, I'm gonna jump into the lake one more time before I go home sun setting and it is starting to cool off a little bit we've got a few more weeks here in Texas that we can swim but it'll be on and off I uh, spent all the day out doing yard work which was wonderful move this body around I'm not much bigger <laughs> there's Miss Inca Let's see 
I'll show you Miss Inca. Can you see her? There she is. There she is. She loves the water. I told you that before. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I'm not really much into the yoga thing. This body is kind of stiff, and I haven't taken care of it. Uh, I do um, work on a little bit of movement of chi and some of the simpler yoga moves, but I really, really enjoy getting out and and doing yard work and playing, messing with the animals, and that's how I move around. I love to swim as well. So remember that anyway, I love to dance, um, just free dance that makes no sense to anybody but me. And uh, remember, if you're not into the yoga thing, it's just movement, guys. You could do that any way that makes you feel good. Just move that body around, that energy around. You can do that any way you want. And there you go. You can see the sun getting ready to set. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I love the sun, don't you? And here we got the sun and the water and trees. Three of my favorite things. The only thing that's not there is snow. And I love snow, but that really wouldn't work right now, would it? Okay, guys. Uh, that's it for me. Huge hugs all the way around. I love you so, so much. And I hope you guys have a great evening. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.